Do you like water? You know, water makes up 71% of the Earth's surface, 60% of our bodies, main ingredient in swimming, chirping, ice skating, water polo, skiing, making ice cubes, if you consider that an activity. But do you understand water? I understand water. Why does it form spherical drops? What is surface tension and how does it work? How come it gets sucked up a paper towel, huh? Like what's the deal with that? Why does it dribble down the glass? Do you know what cohesion means? What about adhesion? Capillary action? The meniscus effect? No? Well, by the end of this video, you'll be able to answer all of those questions. Welcome to the physics of water. We need a big title and grand music physics of water. Like there's an entire army marching physics of water. No, we shouldn't get me. I shouldn't sing. I would, you know what? We should do this without me singing. Everything you need to know about water starts with one simple idea. Water is magnets. Water is magnets. Magnets. Water is magnets. Water is ma- no, water are magnets. Water molecules act like magnets. No, no, we're gonna stick with water is magnets. I know, I know, it's kind of bad grammar, but it's good science. And what does that mean? Well, let me explain. Water is just two elements, three atoms, one oxygen and two hydrogen. And it looks just like this. Well, not just like this. I mean, it's, it's smaller and you know, not color coded. The oxygen atom has a negative charge and the hydrogen atoms have a positive charge. So just like the positive and negative in a magnet, they attract each other. Oh my, you are very attractive. Oh my stars, you're very attractive too. I'm very attracted to you. I'm very attracted to you too. All the molecules are attracted to each other. This is called cohesion. Cohesion. Oh, no way. Cohesion. The molecules in the middle are being attracted to all the other molecules in all other directions. But on the outside, at the surface, they are only being pulled on one side, which means the surface of any bunch of water molecules are pulled in tighter than the ones on the inside. They have more tension on the surface. Surface tension, right? Think of it. Think of it like the hard crust on a delicious pie. Hard on the outside, watery in the middle. Yum. The fact that they are all pulled towards each other is why you get spherical drops. The same way that gravity makes spherical planets. And why bubbles are spherical. Spherical, spherical. That's a hard word to say. We should just call it round, roundios. But that's not all because water is magnets. Say it with me. Water is magnets. Water is magnets. Water is magnets. Yay! Woo! I'm by myself. Magnets are attracted to things that are ferromagnetic, like metals with iron in them. Magnets are not attracted to things that are not ferromagnetic, like wood. There, it sticks. It sticks. It Okay, it didn't stick. Water molecules are also attracted to molecules on other surfaces. Now, magnets are attracted to things that are ferromagnetic. What are water molecules attracted to? Almost everything. Water drops have weight. They would be pulled down by gravity if there wasn't another force holding them up against things like, like your skin or glass or metal, wood, paint, pencils, fabric, or you get the idea, just about, just about everything. You throw water at something, it's most likely gonna stick to the side. When water molecules stick to things that aren't water molecules, it's called adhesion. Adhesion, cohesion, adhesion. Water molecules sticking to stuff. Check this out. If you look very closely at a glass of water, if you look at the very edge, you'll see that the water kind of climbs the side of the glass a little bit. And this is because the water molecules in the water are being pulled towards all the other water molecules, but the water molecules at the very edge are actually being pulled a little bit toward the side of the glass because they're being attracted to the glass, which means that they kind of stack up on each other because they're being pulled that way and that way, which allows them to sort of bunch up a bit. And this is called the meniscus effect. Meniscus effect. Meniscus. Meniscus. It's not a good word. Meniscus. 
Ugh. They should call it climby bit on the side of a glass effect. Long name, sure, but you know. So why does it do this? Because water is magnets. Why does a water drop join up with another water drop? Water is magnets. Water is magnets. Magnets go, go, go. There's only one takeaway you really need in this video and that's water is magnets. I don't know if you've got that yet. And now that we know this meniscus effect, we know about capillary action. Let me explain. Let's say your container is very narrow, like this one. Now you see the water molecules are climbing the side of the container, just like, you know, with the meniscus effect, but now they're also climbing the walls of this side, and then because the two sides are so close together, the water molecules in the middle rise up a bit, which allows this side to climb up a little bit more, and this side to climb up a little bit more, which makes the water molecules rise up a little bit more, and rise <laughs> it's capillary action. Capillary action. Capillary action. All you gotta do is remember that water is magnets and you can figure out all kinds of things. Like this experiment. You take a plastic rod and you rub it in some cloth and then you put it near some water and the water gets pulled towards it. Why? Well, probably we can assume that the rod has some sort of magnetic charge that is attracting the water because water is magnets. 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 Water is magnets. Let's recap. We should recap. Don't you think we should recap? We should definitely recap. Why does water form a sphere? Water is magnets. Why does water have surface tension? Water is magnets. Water is magnets. Why does it climb the side of the glass? Water is magnets. And what's this called? The meniscus effect. And when it climbs up a very narrow container, it's called capillary action. And now you know a lot more about water based on this one idea. Water is magnets. I thank you. Okay. This video is dedicated to Elias. Elias and Elias' family who support me on Patreon. And if you would like to support me on Patreon and everything that I do, please check the link below. And in the meantime, like and subscribe and share and spread this video around like drops of water being flung at surfaces. And they will stick to those surfaces because water is magnets.